Hi, I'm Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com, and I just want to answer this question that um, I've been getting asked a lot recently about what happens when you deactivate the Divi theme. And I think that there's a bit of misinformation out there, um, a bit of truth. So let's go ahead and dive in and check it out. And I want to start out by saying that I like and recommend both the themes that I'm going to talk about in this video, both Divi and Beaver Builder. I'm going to include affiliate links for both of them in the description below. So if this video sways you one way or the other and you want to get one of these themes, you can use the link below, which costs you nothing extra, and provide me with a commission so that I can review more website building tools, offer more tips, and free tutorials. So I thank you for your support. Now, both of these tools allow you to easily build great looking web pages in WordPress using a front end page builder. And that's a quick summary of these two themes. And I've got reviews of both of them, which I'll link to in the description below. I focus on helping you guys find the best tools for easily making a website without needing to know code. And at this point, you don't really need to know code to make a great website. And both of these tools are great tools to use to easily build a website without needing to know code. So the issue here and the problem that a lot of people bring up is that if you deactivate the Divi theme, your site will not be usable because the Divi theme leaves behind short codes, whereas the Beaver Builder theme leaves behind quote unquote clean code. And the first thing here that should be obvious is that the code that these page builders generate to make your pages viewable by your browser can't be all that different because you can make pages that look very similar in both themes. So the final code output, I'm sure, is different between the two, but it just can't be all that different. Next, I think that this whole issue comes from a few articles that are out of date now. It used to be that the Divi theme had the Divi Builder built into it, and that was the only way to get the Divi Builder. But now you're able to download the Divi Builder as a separate page builder plugin, just like the Beaver Builder has its page builder plugin. And so that really resolves this whole issue. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when you deactivate these themes and page builders. Okay, so here's a page that I built with the Beaver Builder theme. As you can see, it's a great looking page. Um, really, you know, just generally nice looking, something I built and designed. So there we go. And then if we go over here, we can look at the exact same page or pretty darn close to it that I also built with the Divi theme. So again, great looking page, you know, as you can see, very similar uh, between the two of these. And if you're interested in a tutorial where I'll walk you through how to build these pages in Divi or in Beaver Builder, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the little bell icon so you can get notified when these tutorials are available. Again, I recommend both of these themes, and I think that they're both really good themes for easily building web pages. So let's go back and see what happens to the Beaver Builder theme if we deactivate the theme. Let's go ahead here, I'm gonna go to the dashboard. I'm gonna go to appearances, themes, and then I'm just gonna switch over here to the 2016 theme and activate it. All right, now let's go ahead and go back and look at that page. Okay, so right now um, the Beaver Builder plugin is still installed and so it's still working. So we can see that we have the basic layout of our page here, but you'll notice that it's not full width. And that's something that I've really noticed. Sorry, you're gonna have to excuse the fan on my computer here. I don't usually record right here. Um, but it's something that I've noticed with so many themes out there is that they don't offer this full width theme. And that's why I really recommend that if you're gonna use a page builder plugin that you use it with the theme that it comes with because I find that, that gives you the best results. Yes, there are some themes out there that do offer full width, but I find that they don't really offer any advantage to the themes that come with these page builders. So there we go. So you can see most of my design here has stuck. Obviously, there's a few issues that need to be resolved, but that's to be expected um, when you move back and forth. But generally, something is definitely salvageable here. All right, so now let's see what happens when we deactivate the actual plugin. I'm gonna go back here, the dashboard, plugins, and I'm gonna deactivate the Beaver Builder plugin. I'm gonna go back to the page. Okay, so now um, basically the content is mostly there. Um, there's definitely a few issues here. It's the design is completely gone. I mean, we started out with this page design here, and now we've got this. So I mean, I guess, yes, the content is there and you can read it, 
but I can't imagine saying, all right, well, I've deactivated the theme, I've deactivated the plugin, and I'm ready to go. My site is ready on a new theme. That's just not gonna work. Uh, okay, so now let's see what happens if you do the same thing with Divi. So here we go, we've got my Divi site here. I'm gonna go to the dashboard. I'm gonna go to Appearances, Themes, and then I'm gonna go ahead and also switch to the 2016 theme. And now let's visit the site. Okay, so this is the issue that people are talking about. When you deactivate the Divi theme, you wind up with all of this short codes. And I guess that can be a little bit scary, a little bit frightening, but I'm not too sure why you would do that. Now the developers of Divi do offer a plugin, so I'm gonna go ahead and enable that plugin right now. And I've already installed it just to make things easy, so all I've gotta do is just activate it. And now let's go back and visit our site. All right, so there we go. Just like with the Beaver Builder theme, you basically need to keep the Page Builder plugin activated and installed when you switch themes if you want to keep your design. And I think that the whole point of using a Page Builder theme is to keep your design. And actually, I think in this particular example anyways, I think the Divi theme actually may have done a little bit better of a job of holding my original design than the Beaver theme did. So now you might say, okay, well, with Okay, well, with this Beaver Builder theme, if I go here and edit the page, you know, you've got this code here um, that we can work with. It's basic HTML code. So I could go in and I could just start adding in all the design features I want in code. And I say, sure, you could do that. But then why are you using a Page Builder plugin in the first place if you're going to rework the code yourself? I just don't think that that's realistic. What I do think is realistic, and that's with both of these themes and both of these plugins, is that if you build pages with them and you want to switch to a different theme for some reason, again, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but if you did want to do that, you just need to keep the Page Builder plugin activated and then you'll keep your designs. What I like to focus on is what are the tools that are going to work best for me right now to build my site. Because the most important thing is to get started and use the tool that best fits your needs now. If you worry about what a professional developer has told you that, or what they might tell you if you picked the wrong tool, I say fire them because you did the right thing by building your website. That's the most important thing is to take action and build your site. If you've built up your site to the point where you can hire a professional to help you with it, that's the whole point. That's the goal is to get yourself started so that you can build something and work off of that. I can tell you that there are plenty of great websites developers out there who are using Divi. And Divi has a fantastic community of professional developers to hire. So why not hire one of them than someone who's looking down at you and telling you that you're not using the right tool? And I'm sure the exact same thing is true for Beaver Builder. There are plenty of great developers out there using Beaver Builder and who really know how to use those tools and get the most out of them. I personally use the Divi theme and I've been using it for over two years now and I continue to be impressed by the developers and what they continue to do to improve this amazing theme by adding new features and new functionalities. Divi 3 offers so many features and it's just a joy to use. And Beaver Builder is also great. It's a quality product and I look forward to seeing what new features and improvements that they'll come out with. So that's my take on the issue. I really think it's a non-issue and that all the posts on it are out of date. Thanks for watching. Again, if you're interested in getting these themes, you can use my affiliate links below, provide me with a commission and help me to keep bringing content like this and the free tutorials that I provide. I'm also gonna be offering a whole free course on how to build a website and you can find that at realwebsitehints.com. It's gonna be coming out soon. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you like this content, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down and tell me why. And if you're interested in those free tutorials showing you how I built these pages here with the Divi theme and the Beaver Builder theme, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.